Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today we're gonna take a look at the new Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Matte Lipstick Shades that were just launched. I have six of the 14 new shades. Um, I will swatch them, demo them. We'll do a little bit of a comparison at the end, but uh, in the interest of time, I think for detailed comparisons against like lipstick I have, other lipsticks I have in my collection, um, that will probably be another video. So why don't we go ahead and start with um, swatching each of the shades. So Chanel's Velvet Matte Lipstick Line is basically as the name implies it's a velvet so it's a softer matte but specifically it's a matte that is luminous and I would tend to agree with that so the first shade I want to swatch for you is number 45 intense it is a beautiful bright pink a little bit of a fuchsia but bright pink lipstick and while I want to do this on um, this part of the palm he's it i just did this for uh, tiktok and instagram but uh, uh for room i just want to put this on here and then you guys will see it on the lips too so this actually really grabbed my attention because i personally enjoy these type of brighter pink shades and i was curious the shade right after it number 46 which is magnetique I was curious just how similar uh, this shade was going to be to number 45 or just how similar they were going to be to each other. So let's take a look at the two bullets. You can tell there's a shade difference, but let's see on the skin. You can see there's a difference, but I feel like it looks much more similar than it does in the bullet. That's how I feel about it. And next is number 53, Inspiriant. So 53, much more uh, red leaning. And then number 63, Essential. This looks like it has brown tones in it, which really did grab my attention for that reason. And then we're getting into the more uh, nude type shades. We'll first start with number 60 in Temporel. This is absolutely like gorgeous. I love these kind of beigey nude shades. So very much looking forward to putting it on the lips. And then for the last shade, number uh, the sixth shade that I picked up is number 61, Intuitive. Noticeably deeper uh, than number 60. And I like that difference. Um, of course, Chanel can also go back and expand their shades more in the future and put in another new type shade between uh, 60 and 61 if they wanted to, or as a limited edition release. Although, since they're numbered as 60 and 61, there actually might not be room to put another in between other than perhaps a limited edition shade. Um, so for the sake of ease removing these lipsticks, I'm gonna start with the lightest shade and we'll move on uh, eventually to get to the brightest ones uh, just because it's easier to remove and there's not as much red on the lips so that it won't kind of skew. Uh, the demo on the lips. Uh, so we'll start with number 60, and this is uh, in Temporel. And I will say the lipsticks will set a bit once you give it some time. I also have lip balm underneath. So I think you are seeing probably a little bit more lighter lumosity than there would be after uh, some time has passed. And this is number 60. I really, really like it. This is a very easy to wear lipstick uh, with you know any kind of look during daytime. And uh, all these lipsticks do have that classic Chanel scent to them. 61 Intuitive. I really like this shade too. It almost resembles a more toned down brick red, but it's still nice, especially during fall and uh, winter time. 
Number 63, Essential. This shade actually picks up a lot pinker than I had imagined and a lot brighter too actually. It's quite nice, but really different than what I had imagined how it would look on my lips. Number 53, Inspiriant. This shade definitely, along with the last one, uh, number 63, both appeared much brighter on my lips than I thought. And so that is pleasantly surprising and it does make me like this or enjoy this red much more than I thought I would. Number 46, Magnetique. And Magnetique is appearing on my lips as I had imagined. That kind of um, nice bright pink color with a good amount of red mixed into it. I do like how most of the lipsticks I tried today goes with this look. I guess it's kind of, you know, nude, a little subdued. Uh, it goes well with like a fall winter look but you've got these bright pops of color and I think it does elevate, for me, I think it does elevate this lip color. Otherwise, I'm probably not as drawn to it as I am going to be for the next shade. So we'll see how the next shade looks, but I, I just have a, like a personal preference. I feel like the next shade is gonna be uh, what I'm really gonna enjoy. And the last shade, number 45, Intense. I love Intense, and I will say probably the redder lipsticks and the new lipsticks went better with this look than Intense, but I love Intense. It's just, the, the brightness is exactly what I like. Um, the pink that I get from this is also what I like. It does remind me, these shades, I can think of something else in my collection that we could do some comparisons and it makes me wonder if they're dupes of each other um, or just how similar the shades are between the different brands. Um, so I'm really interested in doing that comparison video for these lipsticks, but I, I am definitely drawn to this type of pink and I really, really love this color. Um, as for the pigmentation, these are described as um, highly pigmented or intense pigmentation. Um, I would say, yes, for Chanel, that is true. Um, there are definitely more pigmented lipsticks out there, um, given, you know, very similar texture, similar finish to them. But I would say for Chanel, yes, indeed, these are um, pigmented lipsticks and you can build upon them. Uh, some of my natural lip color is peeking through, even though I've put in, I've put on, um, two applications um, for Intense. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. And then um, these are not the first Chanel uh, Velvet Matte Lipsticks I have that I've tried. So I do wanna take out um, some of the earlier matte lipsticks that I've purchased. They're actually part of the uh, Le Lyon Limited Edition lipsticks. And uh, I have two shades here. I have uh, 227 Beige Rougissant. And let me swatch it. I think it's gonna be similar to one of the two beigey shades that I picked up for this release here. Um, okay, it's not exactly the same, but I feel like, and this is uh, Beige Rousseau, and I feel like it falls right in between number 60 and 62, like it would fit in between these two. I feel like it definitely has like, what seems to be a bit more orange to it, orange undertone. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful lipstick shade that I really, really enjoyed, but unfortunately it's limited edition. Uh, so I feel like if you are looking for something that is similar to this limited edition shade, you might find satisfaction with number um, 
60 but unfortunately I think there's still quite a bit of difference this is definitely much neuter and this has definitely um, more of a impact and statement to it because of, of the um, orange undertone the other Velvet Matte from Le Lyon is going to be 247 Rouge Impulsif. And this shade is definitely more orange coral like, but the brightness is very similar to what I have on number 45 Intense and uh, 46 Magnetique. And if I were to choose between like a bright pink lip like this or a bright coral, uh, I think I'm definitely gonna prefer the bright pink, just, just knowing like what I prefer, where I tend to pick out if I wasn't trying to do something very deliberate. Um, there's definitely a makeup look time and place for that bright coral orangey lipstick, uh, but I think if it came down to just personal preference, it's gonna be the bright pinks for me. And then finally, the other matte lipstick, you've seen this one on my channel a couple of times. It is actually part of the Le Comet uh, limited edition lipsticks from last year, and this is in the shade 108 Tal d'Etoile, and the Comet lipsticks have just a bit more lumosity, shine, and actually visibly sparkles to them uh, than the actual than the other velvet matte lipsticks we've looked at. So this is Tal d'Etoile, and it does have some similarity to number 62 here. Uh, I would say. It's probably a touch lighter than 62, and then on top of that, you can see the gold glitter or gold sparkles uh, in this. It's very obvious. It's subtle, but it's visible for sure. And I'm just drawn to these shades. I guess I'm just drawn to like nude beiges and browns and like brick browns and, and, and whatnot, even though I don't wear them all the time. Uh, I do really enjoy those shades as well. So uh, here's some light comparisons. Hopefully I get a chance to do a more in-depth comparisons cross-brand for you guys. Uh, and that's it for the Chanel new lipstick shades for their uh, Velvet Matte line. And let me know below what you've, if you've picked up anything, uh, if any of this grabs your attention. Also, I did focus on picking up shades that were uh, at least in pairs that I thought were similar to each other and would be interesting to contrast and compare right away. Uh, let me know if that is also helpful to see. Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you very soon. If this is the first time I'm talking to you or first time you've been back to the channel since the new year, happy new year. Uh, if you're new to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified every time new content is released. I review a lot of luxury makeup, luxury skincare, uh, luxury handbags, and we'll be incorporating more fashion content this year. See you soon. Bye.